Good morning, good morning. Hey, everybody. I'm back. I'm glad I know y'all been waiting on it, but we here, all right? Midweek Medicine. I guess you can call it season two. I am your God proclaimed, motivated, and inspired. That uh, breath of fresh air, that uh, game changer that you need in that last few minutes of the game that's going to make everything change and you win that championship. So let's get into it. Today, we're going to pretty much uh, talk about who we are and uh, um, who am I? Who are you? All right? Um, thermostat. Versus a thermometer, all right? A thermometer, sole purpose is meant to take temperatures, whether it's a people, places, uh, food, things of that nature. A thermostat is meant to regulate that temperature. It's meant to take it up, take it down, all right? An uh, individual with a thermometer mindset fluctuates with life. Um, the things outside of you dictate your temperature. It dictates how you go through life, it dictates your mood, your feelings, how you react to people. Um, it's not a not a positive thing to be that way because you, in this state, you just cope with life. Um, it, it, when things are good, you're good, you're feeling happy, you're feeling blessed, and you want to give God all God all all the praise to God. But when they bad, they bad. You depressed, you losing, and you're trying to figure out why me, Lord, why I gotta go through this, and you just having the worst day. I mean, this mindset will affect you so much so that uh, you could spill some coffee and your whole day is blown. Your whole 24 hours is messed up. You don't know how to handle it. You don't know what to do. Is you. Uh, you, you don't treat people good in this way, you know, it's bad, you know, people really don't generally want to be around a, a thermometer type person because you're like, man, one minute you good, one minute you bad, you, why'd you come to work today? Like, you, you sure you ain't want to call out sick? I think it's a bug going around, you might want to catch that, like, because you need to go home. People don't like being around these type of people because they can literally suck the life out of you when they doing bad. And then they could be nice to you when you're doing good, but ain't nobody got time for that up and down stuff. It's ridiculous. That's letting outside things influence you, and outside things should not influence you. If you know who you are, if you know who you be, and you confident in, in who God created you and how he created you, then you know how you, where you stand, and things won't control you. And this is where we get into the thermostat. The thermostat person is a person that controls its environment around you that when if you walk into a room and it's cold you know how to make it hot if it's cold if it's if it's if it's hot you know how to make it cold if people feeling bad you can help them feel good if they you know they got problems they look forward to you being in the room because they know you're going to help when i was out uh you know partying and having a good time my boys used to always look like is miguel coming out miguel coming out man we need him to come out I had that type of influence on people and the moves around me because of the type of person I am. Now, I didn't know then that this would be something that's a that's a positive character trait that God that a gift God gave me now. But now I realize it, my ability to affect the things and people around me is a positive thing. That's why I'm here doing these videos now. I never would have ever thought that that is something I would be able to use to potentially help people, right? I affect the room. I change the room. I dictate how things happen around me. I don't let minor things influence my in, what, what's going on with me internally because I'm confident in who I am. I am a champion. I am great. I am powerful beyond measure. Things outside of me won't influence me unless I allow it to influence me. Period. That's how you need to be. Don't fluctuate with life. Don't just go through life. You're supposed to. Uh, you're not supposed to go through life. You're supposed to grow through life. Because when you grow through life, every day is a new opportunity to get better. Every day is a new opportunity to change. Every day is a new opportunity to reach a level of greatness that you want to be on. To achieve your goals and your dreams. To these are the things that you need to pull from yourself. That you got to reach down deep and you got to dig deep to find. When you don't know who you are, if, if when you don't, if you don't know who you are, you're a thermostat. You're, you're a thermometer. Guaranteed. You're coping with life. Things affect you easily. You know, your mood changes up and down. You know, th that's just how you handle things. Even you, even when you think you're in control, you're really not in control. That's because you don't know who you are. You're not confident in yourself. My daughter told me the other day, you know, grades always be going up and down and everything. And I try to motivate my kids because if I can't motivate my family, then I ain't going to be able to do y'all. I got to be able to take them because that's, that's going to be my hardest critics. My daughter on, me came, on her own came to me and said, you know, daddy, sometimes I don't believe in myself. First of all, to be able to say that you don't believe in yourself, 
that's confidence in you right there. That's already finding out who you are. That's finding out your weaknesses. When you find out your weaknesses and you can own up to them, oh, you can do some mighty things then. Now, you, now you're not going to uh, let things dictate you and, 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 and drive you in ways, but now you're going to start doing the driving. And her, her attitude is getting better. Uh, uh, the way she's doing her schoolwork is getting better. Everything about her, she's becoming a conqueror. She's starting to walk in her own, learning who she is and what her weaknesses are and how to, how to go up against them. That's what you need to do. That's the that's what we work towards. When I say change your mind, change your life, that's what we're doing. All right. Let's go from the, the the thermometer way of living to the thermostat way of living. Don't be affected by the day. Affect your day. Don't uh, what they say. Um, don't let life control you. Control your life. You can't do it. Even though God has predestined things for us, it's still in our control. And the decisions that we make, because the end game may be the same, regardless to the path you take, but it's up to you to choose the path that you take. You know, um, I'm in a position now where I don't want to walk the same path as everybody else. I want to go the way that nobody else is going, and I want to leave a path. That's where I'm at. That's that thermostat thinking. That's that game changer thinking. That's that champion mindset. That's that I know who I am. I'm here and I know what I'm doing. All right? So with that being said, I want y'all to take this today. Pay attention to how you think. Think if, you know, do you let things dictate you and control you throughout your day? Did, 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 did you, you drop your file on the floor and that blew you? Ah, I'm mad. I'm pissed off. Or did you drop that file on the, on the floor? Scoop it back up, and then when you scoop it back up, you just learn something from it that's going to add to you, whatever you got going on throughout the day. That's how you got to be, all right? Uh, I'm gonna leave. Dr. Phil said, uh, unless you know who you are, you will always be valuable to uh, what people say. That simply means that if you don't know who you are, whatever people say about you, that's what you're going to be. Whatever life throws at you, that's how you're going to act. Whatever, you know, whatever your situation is, you'll magnify your situation. Don't be that. Don't 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 have the the mama to think it where as you're coping through life, your situations are defining you. You're supposed to define your situations. That your situations are meant to make you better. You know, like I say, opposition equals opportunity. Not to to pull you down and destroy you. If it does bring you break you down to the point of destruction, that just means it's time for you to be resurrected. And like I said, I'm that game changer. I'm here to help you do that. JJ Watt played for the Texans. He said that um. You gotta give all. You gotta give it. You gotta give all you can every play because you never know what play is gonna be the game changer. The tenth play, the thirtieth play, the hundredth play. You never know. So you always gotta give a hundred and twenty percent because when that moment comes, you will know that you put your all into that moment and you can take full, uh, uh, uh full. You, you can take full advantage of that game changer moment. If you're not putting your all into it, that time gonna come and you're gonna miss it. So let's not miss out. Change your mindset. Change the way you think it. Let's go from a thermometer to the thermostat. Create your environment. Don't let your environment create you. All right? With that being said, I want y'all to take that. I want y'all to be blessed today. All right? Enjoy your day. Yes, it's snowing out, but but it's it's blessing. It's a blessing. Enjoy it. It's God-given. Praise God for your day. I'm thankful for it. I'm glad we back. I hope this helped y'all in any kind of way. Like I said, get back at me, inbox me, text me, email me, whatever you got to do uh, just to reach me, and I will get back in contact with you if I can, all right? So once again, I thank y'all. I'm blessed by y'all. I love y'all. Take this, and y'all have a good one, all right? All right.